hey guys welcome back so i know this is going to be a different video of course it's me sitting down talking to you and as you could tell by the title this is five things that i did that definitely changed my life so i decided why not share with you guys right the more the merrier it worked for me i know it could work for you guys because listen those 6 a.m morning routines that i see on tiktok and instagram they don't work for me i love my bed i love my sleep i am not waking up at 6 5 a.m to go to nobody's gym or to get my day started so if you feel me with that stay tuned so if you see me looking down i do have my ipad in front of me with all my notes because i didn't want to forget anything first thing i have is to get a routine i know you probably heard this a million times but we need to get in a routine we need to get in a habit of doing something it literally drove me crazy when i didn't have a routine so that's number one get a routine get organized plan out your day your week your month for me i'm very anal and i love my tablet i literally planned out my entire month for contents i have a content calendar and i planned out my month for like days of the week things like i need to go grocery shopping i need to buy this phone calendar is what i use 90 percent of the time my notes app i put everything in if we just keep waking up every day just running through the mill without a routine you'll get burnt out plan out your days your weeks your month your monthly goals what is it that you want to accomplish for that month what important activities going on that you need to take part in and then it's good to look at at the end of the week or at the end of the month like oh look at all the things i accomplished first one remember is to get in a routine the second one is your affirmation meditation workout yoga whatever works for you do something that's good not only for you mentally but also physically like your mental can't be working functionally fine if your physical is a mess vice versa if you physically a mess mentally you're gonna be all over the place too so get them together so what i do for mental i meditate i tr i don't do the long 30 minute 20 minute meditate i literally just find time throughout my day to do five ten minutes if i can of meditation and i work out we got to start taking our mental health seriously because the older we get the more it's backfiring on us it will affect your life it will affect your relationships it will affect your kids so we gotta mentally get grounded and figure out what's going on up here to start working out start going to the gym you have planet fitness you fit that's like ten dollars a month do something even if you don't want to do the gym or you want to do something free go for a walk go for a 10 minute walk start a meditation practice you have so many things on youtube that you could do my first yoga class was literally youtube honestly i look at it as a balance you know we want to go out and we want to have fun and we want to drink and we want to ray ray but then what are you doing on the flip side? Like, yes, it's good to go out and drink and smoke your hookah and do whatever else is that you do. But mentally, what are we doing? What are we doing to stimulate ourselves mentally? What are we doing to prepare ourselves or to keep ourselves going physically, physically and mentally? Because we only get one body, one brain, one chance. And if we F it up now, who knows what tomorrow brings? So I always find a balance. You'll see me go out and puff, puff, pass a hookah all day, honey. But I also meditate and I get grounded and I get connected. And I work out. I don't like it, but surgery too damn expensive. So I get my butt up and I work out. But honey, you gotta do it. Sometimes we gotta do things we don't like. So get your ass up and go to the gym. Go work out. Take your mental and your physical health serious. Just like how you could get up for brunch, you could get up to meditate and you could get up to work out and stick into it. Because consistency, baby, that is one of my things. You have to be consistent. All this that I'm going to be listing is five. All this, it's only five. You have to be consistent with all of them to see success. It work, it work. Consistency is a key. I hate it, but consistency is the key. First one, get a routine and be consistent with it. Second one, get on a journey, either your yoga journey, workout journey, uh, meditation. Third one is a change of mindset. Now your meditation and your consistency and getting a routine will help change your mindset. And when I say change mindset, it means, are you looking at the glass half full or half empty? I start to find the positive in things. Sometimes it's gonna be hard to try to find a positive in things, but just please do your best to try. Like for instance, I lost $20. I needed that $20. But instead of dwelling on the fact that, damn, Vanessa, I lost $20. That's $20 I could have put in my gas tank. That's $20 I could have used 
I'm like, you know what? Someone else needed it more than I did. If I'm running late for something, you know what? I wasn't meant to be there on time. But there was an accident that I bypassed. Everything happens for a reason. I remember when I was pregnant, I got pulled over for a speeding ticket. And that speeding ticket was about 200 and something. And I was pissed. Pissed. But it helped to ground me because I'm like, the hell am I doing speeding? I am 30 something weeks pregnant and I'm here speeding, trying to get to a doctor's appointment. For what? So it literally humbled me and like, slow your ass down. Excuse the curse. But that's how it is. You're running late, you are stressed out. Relax, take your break, take a sec, try to find a positive in everything. And that's how I look at things. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to, and it's hard, I get it. But you have to work on training your mind and changing your mindset. When you do that, baby, you untouchable. You untouch, you gonna be unstoppable. And all these changes that we're talking about, I keep saying all these, these five steps, it doesn't happen overnight. It really don't. It takes time and consistency and you'll see it. You, you will see it. All right, so the first one, what we got? Come up with a routine and stick with the routine. Second, your mental, physical, spiritual health. Third, change your mindset, change your outlook on life. And your fourth, remove negative people and negative situations from your life. That, my close friends told me to pray and ask God to remove those from your life that's not there for you, that's not there to benefit you. And I was so afraid to pray that, but that's just how things work. You ask and you shall receive, right? So, remove negative people or negative situations from your life ask god to remove if you're not a god person ask the universe ask whoever you believe in to remove the people out of your life that's not meant for you the people that's going to hurt you and cause you harm remove negative situation if you go to a place and you have a bad vibe or it could be your job remove yourself look for a better job if it's your housing if there's a situation that you're in try to remove yourself from that situation this is going to be it now ready remove apps also unfollow the shade i love the shade room too boo i love the shade room but sometimes pages like the shade room lately they've been good lately they've been putting out you know more positive Move those people unfollow them unfriend them get you some motivational pages follow me vanessa k james but no for real for real follow me but Follow people that's going to motivate you and put out motivational things that you need to see every day. Find something that will bring positivity to your life. So that's one of my biggest things. Remove yourself from negative situation at all times. Remove yourself from negative people. Remove negative people out your life. Delete them from your contact. Block them if you have to. And this also includes family because family will hurt you the most and think that it's okay because y'all got the same blood type. No, don't let nobody keep hurting you remove them and move on with your life so don't go saying that oh vanessa said i need to cut you off my life vanessa said i need to unfollow you because i know there's some do it in your time do it at whenever you're ready so don't take this as a pressure let me do do this and this and this don't rush gradually doing it like for me when it was time to wake up early i started gradually 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes now i'm a whole 30 minutes in early i ain't going past that but you get the point gradually incorporate these steps in your life so start off with one then the next week you add two then the next week you did a third one the more comfortable you are the harder it's going to be to break these habits but baby you don't grow in comfortability you grow through hard times you grow when you're making a change a plant don't just stay the same in the dirt because it feels comfortable it's feel warm it continues to grow oh let me write that down a plant don't dropping gems next one all right so the first one get you a routine second your mental physical health get it ready third one change your mindset fourth one go on a vacation leave this damn country i know some people can't but honestly you need to go on a vacation. If it's just, I know for me, I have to leave this country every year. I have to, I have to go some. Before the pandemic, I would go on three. I'll be in someone's island, I'll be on a cruise, and I'll do a staycation. It doesn't even have to be out the country. It can be down the street, it can be a staycation. 
it can simply be mean you renting a hotel room just to get out of your house stop looking at the same four damn walls and corners get a hotel room if i'm doing like a staycation i would go somewhere on the beach and i will look months in advance to find me a nice room at a nice rate on the weekends it's a little expensive around holiday times it's hella expensive go throughout the week book you a nice room spend that little extra money you're treating yourself it even help open up opportunities you know the people that you might be meeting mix and mingle with it will it's literally good for your mental health this all comes back to your mental health because you want to be mentally sane and stable the older you get but be safe don't be stupid be very much safe when you do stuff like that all right so what else do we have so i have a bonus i have to give you a bonus i can't just leave y'all hanging with just five like damn girl she just hit us with five and that's it i got y'all you know i love i got y'all i got a little bonus so let's go back number one getting a routine getting the habit of doing something a routine number two work on your affirmations your meditation your physical and mental health number three change your mindset change the way how you think about situation and things number four removing negativity from your life people place things whatever number five take bonus do more things that you like it is good for you mentally if it costs money start saving up for it i like vacation so i started saving for it i like fancy things so i started saving for it do more things that you like honestly truly whatever you enjoy doing do more of it that is the biggest thing and that goes into all of it that will help you stay consistent that will help change your mindset that will help change your mood we spend so much time doing things that we have to do that we don't really spend time doing things that we really enjoy doing so that's it guys do more and find a balance in your life I feel like that's the overall message. Well, one is to be consistent in everything that you do and to find a balance. So you going out, you drinking every weekend, start drinking some more water, you know? Find a balance. I'm not saying that it's easy, it's not, but nothing worth having is easy to get. Whatever that saying is, I don't know, I forgot. Anywho, but I do hope you guys enjoy. I do plan on putting out more of this content. This is also what my channel is about. I love doing fashion and try on haul. And y'all love them. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the love. But I also want to incorporate self-care and self-love. And you know, more of the lifestyle things. So I hope you guys like. And if you do, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm getting better. You, you see them videos. You see them video qualities improving. Thank you guys. Ha <laughs> ha